All right, Sports Fury Nation, we're here for the Dallas Cowboys 2018 yeah. win-loss season predictions. And joining us is our special guest, Derek of the Dallas Prospect. What's up, Derek? Nothing much, man. Happy to happy to be here. Preview the Cowboys season. Yeah, it's how do you a good one? How do you feel about the Cowboys entering 2018 season? Uh, I feel pretty good about where the defense is at, honestly. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this defense, the young secondary. I do think that, if healthy, the linebacking core is also going to be pretty good. And the offensive line got a lot better, too. There are question marks, of course, but, you know, what team doesn't have at least some question mark going into the season? Very true. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. uh, you know, the NFC is pretty stacked this year. So Yes, uh, that's yeah. very true. I don't know. I don't know how your Cowboys are going to... You know, uh, you know, everybody's down the Cowboys. This year. That's fine. I want the doubt. So we prove y'all wrong. They they work better when they're the underdog for yeah. sure. When they go in with high expectations, it almost always fails uh, yeah. in recent years. Yeah. Can you take the division from the Eagles? I don't know. We'll find. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. That well, feels like uh, a long yeah, shot. Yeah. Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's uh let's not talk about that. Okay. All right. So <laughs> all right. So let's do this. Got a yeah. couple Cowboys fans here, and let's jump right into Week One. We got the Dallas Cowboys kicking off the season on the road against the Carolina Panthers. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna kick it off to you, Derek. Who do you see winning this game? Can the Cowboys uh, get the road win here? Uh, they certainly can. It's going to be tough. They they have the obvious suspension with David Irving the first four games, and that yeah. is going to impact the defensive line. Uh -oh. I've actually – I now this could be slightly out of date. I haven't heard any update on this, but I did hear that there were some kind of whispered concerns. He might not even rejoin the team at all this year. Oh. That they're worried that his off-the-field stuff and just his general state might keep him away. So – if that's oh, the case, okay, that's right. going to be much more far-reaching, and that makes yeah. it kind of hard to pinpoint what we think. But assuming it is just the four games, uh, I mean, they're going to miss them in this game. They're going to miss them in you mm -hmm. know some of the subsequent games too. Yeah. But I do think that I think it's going to be a tough game. But mm -hmm. what, what I point to is I think the biggest positive draft pick they made this year was Connor Williams because I think that the offensive line works best when it has just a bunch of just bullies out there yeah. that can just push you back. Last year, it had a 40% changeover from the previous year in terms of the starting offensive line because you had Doug Free retire and you had Leary go to Denver. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they had to move uh, Lyle Collins out to right tackle, which was not a normal position for him, not nope. even really a natural position. No. I kind of think they should have moved him back into guard, honestly. They, but they should have. They didn't. And so they, they had that changeover, and now you're plugging Plugging in Connor Williams, who I think is a just beast, a first round talent. I, I think the identity is going to be better, and that plus no Zeke suspension makes me think that they'll be pretty we have pretty hope. solid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, again, there's there are question marks, but I, I do yeah. feel better about them now than I did last year. Last year, I was concerned when that Zeke thing was going to come down, and I never felt secure. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so this one's tough. Wait. So this one's tough. Do you have this as a winner? Or oh, oh yeah. sorry, sorry. I, I totally glossed <laughs> over that. Uh, I'm going to say a close road win of 26 to 24. Okay. okay. I'm going to go with a win here as well. Sorry, Panthers fans. What? Uh, who might be watching this. I I think the Cowboys can come in here, enter in the season uh, with a bang, man. Getting Zeke going behind that line. Wow. I think, uh, hmm. I think the Panthers won't be ready for it. Well, man, not, not, not they won't be ready for it. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think the Cowboys... I mean, uh, surprising. Wow. Yeah. I, I actually thought you were going to say a loss. I was going to throw something at you. But this could be a loss. This could be a loss. It, 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 it could be. be. Like it could be. Yeah, like Derek was saying, it could be. Let's it's not be close game. Let's not forget Carolina was a playoff team last year. Mm -hmm. They did have a good mm -hmm. defense last year. Best obviously. division in football last year. Yes, three teams. Three made teams, it. dude. Oh my god. But it's also I look at just matchups. With Cam Newton is the team on offense. We have a good D-line. I, I know a lot of people don't realize that, but Demarcus Lawrence can get after the passer. You frustrate Cam Newton, you hit him a couple times, he's going to get pissed. He's going to look at the refs. Why aren't you calling flags? And we're going to get in his head. And we, I, I'm not sold on their D-line stopping our run. So, I, hands down, I think we can definitely go on the road and win this mm -hmm. now. But it's going to be a close one. It could go either way. I'm nervous about this one. Speaking of uh, D-law, did you guys yeah. see, and I think it was Friday or maybe Thursday, in camp, uh, he called out each of the starting offensive linemen for one-on-one -on -one drills and used oh, yeah. different moves, like added to his repertoire in the mm -hmm. offseason and used different moves against each of them. Now, I don't know that – I don't want to say that he, like, beasted on all of them, but more than more than held his own to the point oh, yeah. where I actually think he could actually be even better. Oh, yeah. 
This is a contract year. He's playing for a contract mm -hmm. on the franchise tag. So yep. people look out for this guy. Okay. Well, we all uh, have the Cowboys yeah. winning this game. Bro, no, no. We're undefeated. <laughs> all right. Heading into week two, Cowboys. Although our last two seasons we started with a loss were the better seasons, 14 <laughs> yeah, and 16. That's, that's true. <laughs> loss, damn it. <laughs> now in week two, you guys play the New York Giants at yeah. home. First home game. Yep. Uh, Derek, you guys are going to beat the Giants, right? I, I got uh, yeah, I, I have it as a win as well. I, I think so. Here's the thing: Saquon Barkley, I do think is going to be really good. Sure. I don't. I don't know that he's going to be as dynamic as Zeke necessarily, but I do think he's going to be really good. And they got an offensive lineman that I really wanted Dallas oh, to take, Will God, Hernandez. Yes. I really. I'm. I'm happy we got Connor Williams. Yeah. But I was tripping over myself wanting Will Hernandez, even though it's an offensive lineman. In yeah. the first round, of course, he even he even go in the first round, right? Uh, he went in the beginning of the second round. Yeah, man, yeah. like you you could have had it. He could have fell it. a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then him going to New York sucked. But, oh yeah. But the thing is that offensive line was so porous last year for them. Yes. Yeah. And they didn't. Yeah, they added one really good offensive lineman, so they'll be a little better. And they added a better running back, so they'll be a little better. Yeah. But they still have holes in the offensive line. They moved Flowers over from left tackle to right tackle, and their reasoning is like, well, he was getting beat too much off the left, so we moved him to the other side. Well, now he's just now you're giving up the quarterback's blind side. So I don't know that that feels a whole lot right. better. Yeah, I, I don't know the fact that he's their starter. I, I think should spell concern for them. So I, I think that New York has firepower. I don't think it can win in the trenches as much as it needs to, especially offensively. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, the Giants have made a lot of improvements. I love. I thought they had one of the best drafts this year. Unfortunately, as a rival, but yeah, this on the on at home Dallas. It's just Sunday night football. We've actually had a good record against them the last so many years. Uh, besides when Romo went down, uh, and uh, when Dak's first year, before that we were sweeping them for like two, three years straight. So I think that Dallas should be able to take care of this at home, and I'm, I think we got another win. We're gonna go two and zero, Josh. Wow. And what's crazy is that you guys are not playing a Giants Sunday football. That's what week I was, one. Yeah, week one's usually been a tradition for yeah. Dallas Cowboys Giants. Yeah. You can always count on week one Giants, mm -hmm. and at some point in the season, Green Bay. Green Bay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Be nice to win one of those again. Green, <laughs> Green Bay. Bay I, yeah. about. I, I'd like for you guys to. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. especially. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, heading into week three, we have the Cowboys on the road against the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Uh, they lost a lot of pieces uh, recently, and uh, this is still a tough place to play. No Legion Russell, of Boom. Russell Wilson, still one of the best quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, this could get a little dicey, but uh, what do you see playing out? Oh man, I hesitate to say another win because I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm coming off homerish. I feel like I don't think Seattle is going to be that great. The, no, I don't think so. The, the, the I don't think the Legion does. of Yeah, the Legion of Boom is gone. <laughs> yeah. They still have Earl Thomas, but he's not even Before in camp right long? now. But uh, but Russell Wilson is that damn. He's a, he, he is, is a magician. He is. But Dallas should have beat him last year. Yeah. We and should. that was that was a defense I don't think was even is was as good as this defense is going to be. Yeah, we had no Zeke that we game. We did no. have Zeke that game. I thought we didn't have Zeke. We did. We didn't give it to him from the one, three straight plays, remember? Oh, my God. Was that? That was, oh, that, that, game. was that game. That was that game. It was his mm, first game back when the season shit. died. That's right. But, Some yeah. Um, they, they, so they did have Zeke, but they didn't get anything going with him. Yeah. Uh, it, I'm, I'm going to say, to me it's a toss-up, but I'm going to say... Dallas squeaks by. Okay. Uh, Russell Wilson Oof. does scare me, but I think you guys can keep him off the field as much as possible because uh, with, a, with Zeke yeah. and that running game, um, I'm pretty confident mm, that Cowboys will get a win here. Yeah. Well, they don't have Michael Bennett anymore. They have no mm -hmm. Cam Chancellor. They're a big hitter. Yep. Uh, I think Zeke's going to run all over this defense. And Zeke is going to be, I think, I'm going to spoiler, I think he's going to be MVP candidate this year. As a running back, he's going to come out fired up, chip on his shoulder. What MVP happened last year? MVP candidate. Mark my words. But he's going to go off. We're going to go he on the road. He was a candidate in 16. Yeah, he was. Okay. So I look at it like this, though. On the road, you need a running game, which we do. Uh, we need to keep uh, Russell Wilson off the field, which we can. Control the clock. That's how we're going to win. Another W. All right, so uh, we have the Cowboys 3-0. and Yeah, All baby, undefeated. Josh, I can't believe it. I know. Now, <laughs> week four, Cowboys back at home. Yes. Playing against those Detroit Lions. Ah, your rivals. Ugh. Or, I mean, your second favorite team. Something like that. Please tell me you guys got them winning because you know what? 
I don't. I don't Wait, have what? the Cowboys winning this game. I think the Detroit Lions are going to be pretty damn good this year. I love the moves that they made during the offseason, getting Bam. Matt Patricia in there. And uh, um, I love that, that that draft pick that they made with Kieran Johnson. Okay. Uh, maybe he can, you know, they can give him a little spark there in the running game, which they desperately need. Okay. Um, but I think Matthew Stafford uh, can uh, work uh, those DBs you guys got. Okay. okay. Which are good. Okay. Yeah. But a little young. Okay. Yeah, a little yeah. young. Yeah, you're right. Good uh, point. <laughs> I, I have Dallas yeah. tripping up. I do, okay. have, I do have a loss. I have Dallas tripping up because I think they're going to be riding the high off of... Because even though Three Seattle trainers. is not what we think, it's going to be early enough in the mm. season that they might still have some of that like aura about them that okay. the team's going to be riding high after okay. getting one in Seattle. And I could see them just tripping up enough against an, an inferior opponent. All right. Okay. Interesting. Um, I actually have us winning. Hear me out. Now I understand. I understand. <laughs> Four and right now. I understand what you're saying with Matthew Stafford, Josh. I do. I do. But he's not going to be on the field. They don't have a run defense. How are they going to? How are they going to be on the field? This is how Cowboys uh, win games. Yeah, that's true. That's they true. keep the other offense off the field. We have our defense rested. Marcus Lawrence, we already talked about how beastly he was last year and how beastly he looks this year. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't see how Detroit can even get a rhythm on offense because that's what the offense needs. They need the rhythm, especially with Matthew Stafford, by quarterback, receivers. They're not going to be able to get in the rhythm. We're going we're gonna to run the ball all over them. So Sean has the Cowboys defeating the Lions 40 to 16. Oh, I'm not saying 40 to 16. <laughs> well, it might, it might be 24 to 14. Uh, but me and Derek, we have the Lions. Uh, like, what's that? There. Forty to sixteen? You like edit it to make it sound like he said exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to Week Five. Yeah, back on the road against the Houston Texans here mm-hmm. on Sunday Night Football. Sean and I will be streaming this game with UCF yes. Jaguars. It's gonna be a great game. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a loss. It's gonna be a loss. Houston Texans, if they can stay healthy, this is one of the best teams I think. And uh, Deshaun Watson is going to torch you guys. <sighs> I'm, I'm a little worried on this one. <laughs> Texans? I, I think Texans, yeah. And that defense. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? This is actually a game I do have us losing. Mm-hmm. Okay, finally, guys. I have them losing. Four and one, three but, and two. Three and two is yours right now? Yeah, uh, Josh got them three and two now. Yep. But I, I look at this yep. one. I love Deshaun Watson. I don't think we can keep up with him. Dak wouldn't be able to. They were averaging 30 points a game with him healthy last year. The Texans were. If, he, if he's back to form, is he, Dallas if he's is back going to, to have a nightmare yeah, on his hands. Yeah, and as long as J.J. Watt's healthy, uh, Merciless, all those guys, that defense is still solid. Yeah. Um, it just As long as they're healthy, that's the biggest if, as long as they're all healthy. you know. But Deshaun Watson, Dak, I always said when Deshaun Watson came out, he's a playmaker like Dak, but he's more refined in the passing game, which we saw last year. Mm-hmm. And so that's where I think Houston's definitely going to win. <laughs> okay, so loss, loss. Loss? Uh-huh. Three straight losses. <laughs> All right. Um, going into week six, Jacksonville yeah. Jaguars are coming oh, to Dallas. God, we're gonna we're in a rough stretch. So I have I had a starting off uh, the Dallas Cowboys three games win streak, and yeah. uh, this is gonna be a three game losing streak. Losing to Detroit, losing to Houston, and losing okay. to Jacksonville. This is gonna be a loss for you guys. <sighs> give me Dallas. Oh! Give, give, give me a statement win. Because Blake okay. Bortles doesn't scare me. You know. But that defense ooh. should. That defense ooh. does. Atlanta I have should. a low-scoring win. Low-scoring win. Okay. okay. I have something Dallas with no more than 16 points. No more than 16. This one's tough. I I, 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 th- I, think I knew I liked this guy. I knew I liked this guy. No, uh, actually, I was losing, though, buddy. Just because that defense. Now, I think it's going to be a close game. It could come down the wire because I'm not sold on Blake Bortles. I'm not sold on that offense. Mm-hmm. Um, our defense is going to be a solid defense. Mm-hmm. So I think we could keep it close. If Blake Bortles turns it over and we get a pick six or something like that, that could be the signing factor Cowboys. But I, that we didn't see that Blake Bortles last year. So which Blake Bortles are we going to get? Okay. That's where it's all going to boil down to. But I, if we get the same Blake Bortles last year, Jacksonville wins. I, I think that the Cowboys secondary, they're young, but – Everyone hears about how good the Jacksonville secondary is. Yeah. And I think that's going to motivate the Cowboys secondary. And I think you will yeah. see a play like that, whether it's a deflected pass that gets picked off, like at the Jags 20 or something. Yeah. Something to set up the Cowboys offense in short yardage that even if they just get away with a field goal, it's stealing three points and yeah. it's going to be critical. Yeah. Okay. Especially at home. And hey, it's Zeke versus Jalen Ramsey for the first time. 
So okay. we're going to finally see yeah. that, and I think that'll motivate Zeke. All mm -hmm. right. So Sean and I have a loss, and Derek has the Cowboys upset winning. Upset win. I got, a, I got a four and two start. <laughs> Now, getting into week seven, the yes. Cowboys on the road against the division rival, the Washington Redskins. Yep. I have this as the fourth straight loss for the Cowboys. To the Redskins? I think people are a little bit sleeping on this Redskins team. I love the physicality that they're okay. going to bring this year. I like Darius Geis. Alex Smith, I think, fits their, perfect, their system perfect. I think... Uh, Look, you look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. You, you, I mean, you think the Cowboys win this one? Yeah, yeah, I do because uh, Washington, Washington's the basement of the NFC East. That doesn't mean that they can't jump up and bite you. Yeah, but I do have them as the fourth team in the division. And Alex Smith came into Texas last year. Came into Dallas last year, and other than the one freak play before halftime, where yeah. the Cowboys defense just decided they weren't going to, to close, tackle. yeah, close in on the guy. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, he handled or they handled Alex Smith. That's actually true. And we I'm, took care of business. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not especially worried about the Redskins. I you got to make it's a trap game. You got to make sure you don't fall for it. Yeah. But I think in a year or two, yes, I think the Redskins could be very good. I do okay. like what they did, but I don't think it's ready yet. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with agree with you, Derek. I I I'm not big on the Redskins. I don't. I feel I look at this. Alex Smith is not an upgrade from Kirk Cousins. I was just about to ask which you would rather have. I would rather have Kirk Cousins yep. all day, every day. Now, Alex Smith. For the Redskins? Yes. I think, I would I have think, I think Alex Smith will be better for the Redskins than Kirk, Kirk Cousins. I, 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 it's, I, I think, can't say that. Because I, for, this for is one thing. year Kirk for Cousins, long term. Uh, for, Smith is already like 33, 34. Oh, yeah. He's now, about, I will say this. Alex old. Smith is not going to lose you games. But he's not going to go out and win you games. Yeah. Last year was it, the first year he actually started throwing the ball deep. But they're not gonna. They don't want Alex Smith to go out there and be, you know, an Aaron Rodgers. But that's what I'm saying. But they, he's ever consistently being able to beat good teams playing that way. You I can't. think this team is going to be a much better defensively, especially in the rush defense. Rush um, defense, yeah, will rush be defense very good. will be yes. solid. Okay, and uh, their offensive line. This whole team on the in the trenches, offensive yeah. line, defensive line. This is a very physical team that's going to beat up but teams. This Look. is the thing, though. They aren't. The thing is that D line is good. But this is the thing about the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to wear you down. Because no matter how good you are, if you stay on that field, they're not going to be able to sustain drives. They're not going to be able to put up points and, and have long drives. Our defense is going to be able to stop the Redskins' offense. I'm not scared of Alex Smith. So, you know what? Their D-line is great. Uh, De'Aaron Payne and um, oh, the guy they drafted last year. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. The other Alabama guy. Yeah, the other Alabama D-tackle. They're great. I Gone think they're going to have a solid D-line. But they're going to get tired and worn out. And I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Okay, I I, I think that uh, look for Zeke to take something like a short screen pass. Yeah. If if that if the trenches is where they're strong, mm -hmm. I, I think Dallas is going to be forced to use Zeke both yeah. as a, a safety valve for Dak okay. and just it's year three and they've talked about how they're going to utilize him a little more differently. Yeah, not go full Levy on Bell, but they will look to get him more involved in the passing game, okay. and, I, and I think that will pay off in a big play. Yeah. All right, uh, so I have it as a loss, and you guys have them winning. Yeah, you're crazy. Um, but this is a game that the Cowboys could win. <laughs> See, he just gave them three could. straight wins to like lull us into a false sense yeah, of security. Yeah, he's an asshole like that. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys are entering the bye week. Yes. You guys have lost four straight for me. For you. Yeah, so um, bye week number eight, that's good. Yeah, yeah. about halfway of the year, yeah. uh, kind of calms everything down. Now, you're going to need this by week here because yes. ne next week, next week, mm. week nine, yeah. Tennessee Titans coming to Dallas. This is uh, a damn good team. One yeah. of my favorite teams to look out for in 2018. And it's on Monday Night Football. And I think they come into Dallas, and I think they're going to beat you guys. <laughs> you got five straight losses. Five straight losses. Of course you think they're going to beat us. Okay. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think Jason Garrett is going to be fired after this year. Really? Yes. You think Jason Garrett's going to be fired? At this point, everyone's okay. asking for his head. Okay. We've okay. been asking for his head a long time. Yeah, we've we had. We have. In, in, <laughs> there's going to be there's going to be a, a, a torches. He's like he's like the Marvel Lewis of, of the Cowboys. Uh, he's not ever going to get fired, <laughs> even though we want him to be fired. But I got yeah, I got Tennessee. He'll get uh, fired the second Jerry okay. doesn't have the influence anymore mm -hmm. because Steven's not going to wait around for it. It no, was Jerry's really pet project. That's true. But that's it, true. it could be this year if Dallas doesn't make the playoffs. He very. Very likely, I think it's fired. It could be. Uh, we'll see what happens on that. But yeah, yeah, it was a lot of losing five straight, huh? Yeah. Okay. This, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I think Titans are going to be one of the top teams in the AFC. So, 
man. This one I went back and forth on, though. What you have is a loss. I actually have the win. Shh. Listen, this is the thing. We're coming off a of bye week. We're going to, everybody, all the Knicks and Knacks, all those little injuries, we're going to have extra week to prepare for this team. Still, Mariota's still going to be new in a new system. It's a new offensive scheme. How well they're going to be able to do good, I, I don't know. And they're on the road. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Dallas at home. Mariota's Marietta, stats were trash last year, too. Yeah, like, I, I Dak, put that more on coaching, crap, though. Yeah, for how much crap Dak got for the second <laughs> yeah. half of his year, I don't know why no one's bringing up Mariota. Yeah. Because he, he, he was like he 13 shit, touchdowns, 14 picks. Yeah. He had a shit coordinator, man. I mean, yeah, We had a hurt left tackle and no Zeke. But, yeah, I mean, that's Green just part of it. He plays the final eight games for your starting all pro left tackle and your pro bowl running back. Just want to throw that out there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But <laughs> just, just just throwing it out there. Yeah. Just just to remember, everyone yeah. always assumes that I'm a DAC apologist. I I don't know why. All I'm doing is laying out what yeah. happened. Yeah. But I think it, this it, is going to be a statement game though. This is where we got to we got to make that statement that we are a legit team because I still think at this point people aren't going to give us a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. But we this is going to be a good statement game. A Monday night football. Prime time in Dallas. Uh, I think it's a trip up. I trip do. up? I do. Ah. Uh, I think Dallas okay. blows it. I think Dallas blows it late with either a costly turnover mm -hmm. or giving up a big play. Okay. I think, uh, I think uh, I guess, Titans sneak out with a win. Uh, no, I could see this easily be a Titans win. Honestly, it, I just it, it's one of those games that it could go mm -hmm. really bad for the Cowboys or it could be a really good solid statement game. So. All right. Week ten. Dallas Cowboys going mm. to the link. Philadelphia, Woo! who just won the Super Bowl. Oh, don't bring that This up. is going to be an interesting game. We may even be at this game. Yeah, we might go to that game. Sean's going to die. I'm probably going to get stabbed, shot, hung. I don't know. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to die. But what's going to, what's going to go down in this game? I mean, can the Cowboys have, can they have a, a an opportunity to walk out with a win here? Is he about to set up a six straight loss? He, he probably is. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> I have this as a loss. Wow. He's a doubter. Of the Eagles. Okay. You're a doubter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You, you were saying your prediction was seven and nine, right? Not one and fifteen, or sorry, three and twelve. <laughs> I don't know where we're sorry. going with these predictions. No, honestly, uh, it, keep, it's tough for uh, me. Hey, I can, I can make I can make it eight, nine straight losses. Uh, we'll see. You're we'll an see. asshole. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, I I do think we're going to lose this game. It's in Philly. Yeah, and the link, uh, they do have a solid team. I like their team. I, I, spoiler: I think they're still going to win the division mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But um, it's going to be a closer game than people think. Um, Both games last year were, I mean, throughout the second one, the game yeah, last yeah. year in Arlington the first game was that, close at the half. Yeah, the first, but once without Zeke, it was kind of tough to maintain it. Yeah, but true. We have Zeke this time, but that's going to be, be part of the encouraging thing. You didn't have yeah. Zeke in the first match. Yeah, that's very true. So I think it's going to be a close game, but Philly takes it at home mm -hmm. at the link, and I'm going to die when I go there. I, I agree. Philly Philly takes this one. Yeah. Uh, so for me, that has Dallas at 5-4 and four now. 5-4. Yeah. and four. <sighs> so, Rest in peace, Sean. I am literally going to probably get murdered there. That's fine. Right. I'm, as long as I'm wearing all my gear, I go out as a Cowboys fan. Would, would you actually want the Eagles to win? Because if the Cowboys win... That yeah. game, they'll be extra pissed yeah. looking for you. That's true. Oh god, if there's a, <laughs> you might need uh, an escort. I might have to leave early. Just, just wear the fourth just, quarter. Just, over. just wear like a big trench coat that you can just kind of wrap around. Oh, yeah, yeah I might up. have to. I might have to, Josh. We might have to get something. I might. Oh my god. But All right. But don't forget the the beanie. <laughs> oh yeah. Give yourself away. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Throw that, throw that crap away. Hey, 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 hey. Now, heading into week 11, Cowboys on the road against the Atlanta Ooh, Falcons. Tough games on the road here. And uh, let's keep this going. Loss. This is a loss right here in Atlanta. We're going to stab you in your this, sleep. This is a really tough schedule for the Cowboys. <laughs> this little stretch after bye week is really like going to be tough. For a team that went one game better than 500, this is, seems like a very tough schedule. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. It you is. You don't see it that often. But the NFC is just so stacked this year. Mm -hmm. So many good teams. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we had a bad year. Tough. Yeah, we had a bad year to draw uh, the NFC South. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the NFC South last year. Three teams in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. The best. But this is going to be a tough one. But I have a win. Okay. How, how did the Cowboys go in here and, uh, and get this win? I think Dallas is going to bounce back from their wretched performance last year there. I think that's fresh in their minds. That's true. And I think that they're going to give the ball to Zeke. They didn't have Zeke last time. That was his first game out. Yeah. And so I true. think improved offensive line, 
run behind Zeke, and I think that that whole team is going to play with a monster of a chip on its shoulder, and you're going to see defenders laying hard hits, and I think you're going to see a couple picks. I, I think Dallas is, if there is one game Dallas is just humiliated by last year, I think it's that Atlanta game. It wasn't, their, it wasn't their worst loss. Yeah. Thanksgiving Day versus the Chargers was. Yeah. But I think that was the point where they look at and they say that's where the season went wrong. And I think they're going to do everything, especially if they're five and four like I have. They're going to do everything in their power to make sure it doesn't go off the rails. Okay. Yeah, this one's tough. We did have an atrocious performance last year. The funny thing is, before uh, uh, Tyron Smith or Sean Lee went out, our defense was actually stopping Matt Ryan. We didn't picked him, him up. Yeah, I didn't even mention that. You didn't have him yeah. for like almost the entire game. Yeah, he went out after the first quarter, but we were we were actually stopping that offense. We picked off Matt Ryan, mm-hmm. and we looked solid. I was like, hell yeah, we got a chance, even without Zeke. But then when Sean Lee went down, yep. it, our defense was night and day. But Jalen got exposed bad in that game because yeah. he's, he's doing better at side to side now. There's less get up in it, and he's yeah. moving more confidently side to side. But they, they were running at him and spreading him out wide, and it, it really showed that once Lee went out and it was like, okay, get ready for like 55 plays of Jalen Smith, it was like, oh, this is not going to be good. No, it was it was bad. Well, hope this year he looks better, so yep. we'll see what happens. But I still have Atlanta winning this game. It's on the road in Mercedes-Benz Dome, that beautiful stadium. I, I see Atlanta. They're a Super Bowl contender, my eyes. Mm-hmm. I got them winning this at home, unfortunately. Okay. And uh, and David in Atlanta is definitely going to gloat in your face. I hold strong. Well, of course he is. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad one of us can hold strong. <laughs> now, into week 12. Yeah. Back at home, Cowboys are hosting the Washington Redskins. Yeah, your favorite team. And guess what? What? I got a win. Oh. You guys, you guys, Finally. You guys <laughs> win a game here. Oh, my God. Only because it's at home. That's yeah, why. that's the only reason. <laughs> it's what the Redskins at asshole. home, so he's like, I don't know, 7-6. Yeah, okay. 7-6 <laughs> <guys>, score. <laughs> I, I, see, I see you guys splitting the series here and uh, getting this win. Okay. okay. Interesting. I also have a win. Okay. I, I think that they actually handled them a little better this time. Yeah. Because I think, I think unlike the... Earlier I pointed out, after Seattle, they'd have a letdown because mm-hmm. it was, to them, a statement win. Yep. I think this time they're going to be more wary of a letdown. Okay. I actually have a sweeping the Redskins this year, and yep. this is a W at home. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think we're going to win. We're going to sweep the Redskins this year. We are. Watch. Mm-mm. Watch. Now, <laughs> going into week 13, yeah. Cowboys at home against the New Orleans Saints. You Ooh. guys don't have a shot, right? No, I don't, I don't have this as a win at all. I, I do think that because it's in New Orleans, I don't feel great about it. Yeah. They could, but I, I feel like this is probably a loss. Well, this is in Dallas, actually. Oh, this one's in Dallas? In Dallas okay, on Thursday Night Football. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, then to me it's a toss-up, but I'm still going to stick with my gut of loss, uh, which would bring mine to 7-5. and five. So, so this one's, this one's going to be a good one because it's going to be a lot closer than people think. I, think, I still think New Orleans is going to win. Okay, guys, I'm not being a homer. Um, but this is the thing. they Their linebackers are very questionable over there in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Stopping the run is going to be a big question mark. Um, so that's where I think we could capitalize and maybe make this a really good, close game at home. And we already know Thursday night football, you never know what might happen. Thursday night football gets crazy. Mm-hmm. But I still think New Orleans with Drew Brees, that running game, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram's back by then. Yep. It, it, they're they're going to be a solid team, and they're they're one of my favorites in this, uh, for the Super Bowl hunt. So I, I I say New Orleans definitely wins this one. It's one of the games where I feel like the receiving core is going to be a major issue for Dallas. It could be because yeah. I think they're going to have to be. I think even with a good defense at Dallas, I think we'll have. I think yeah. they're going to be forced to win a high scoring game, and I don't think that yeah. that's necessarily in their capability. Yeah, that's why they're going to have to just try to keep Drew Brees off the field as much yep. as possible. That's their best hope. Yep. So we'll see. All right, week 14, mm-hmm. Cowboys versus Eagles, part ah, two. This part time, two. In it's in Dallas. Yeah. I got you guys winning this one. Splitting the series what? with the Eagles. Yeah. You, you, you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Y'all, y'all could You're be the, smart, y'all could, man. You're a good could guy. Beat the Eagles. Don't be surprised if they do sweep you. No, they're not going to sweep us. Okay. No way they're going to sweep us. But this is a win. Okay. Dallas holds surf. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing else to say. I think Dallas will split the series with the Eagles. Okay, now week 15, Cowboys versus the Colts. On the road. Ah, uh, yeah. 
can Andrew Luck pick up a football yet? I think he can. He, he yeah, is. I yeah. think he, 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 yeah. he can. I'm just being sarcastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, they say he should be ready for the regular season. A little I, I, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know. what, what I've heard so far is that uh, you know sometimes he makes throws and it looks great, and then other mm-hmm. times it's not so great, and yeah. there's just certain things he still can't do. And that's what worries me, man, about the Indianapolis Colts. Very nervous, yeah, because they're so dependent on Andrew Luck that's, still. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, you know, they're yeah. they're revamping that offensive line uh, and uh, trying to build that defense. And I like the the hiring of Frank Reich, but um, yeah, they're still so dependent on Andrew Luck and yeah. how his performance yeah. goes. This is going to be a win for the Dallas Cowboys. Win. Yeah, win. Uh, it's Andrew Luck, he hasn't played in, what, two years? So it's like, how can you really, you don't know what you're going to get from him. But their defense is still a lot of work to do. And I think, yeah, we could definitely take advantage of that. He, he might be about done now. I mean, there might not be. I, I really and, and, and Maybe I not retired not, done, but really like elite not. done, I, I feel. I hope not. I love Andrew Luck. Yeah, he's I, a I great guy. He, yeah, he's he's a young, yeah. still a young. That would be tragic. Yeah, yeah. He, that would be fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Uh, week sixteen at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, Tampa Bay? They're still a team. I actually have you guys. I'm gonna. Have, I have you guys winning. I was about to say. Oh, <laughs> we're about to say if you were saying we lost that game. I don't know. Right Mike Evans is pretty damn good. Yeah, it's but who else players. they got? Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> Cowboys are winning. <laughs> For sure. W. Yeah, yeah if win. we lose this game, I'll be embarrassed. Um, the Cowboys should definitely win this game. They, they have no offensive line there. So, no Jameis Winston eating any Ws? No, no, no. Maybe Not stealing crab legs. Yeah, so. probably. <laughs> All right, uh, going into week 17, yes. Cowboys on the road against the New York Giants. In the season. And this is a Giants win for me to end the year. You're going to have the Giants beat us? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ditto. Woo! I think... I think nice! I think Dallas... I have them going... This is the last game, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I have them going 10-6. This puts them at 10-6. I have them getting in thanks to a tiebreaker uh, by yeah. the skin of their teeth as the wild card. And I think that they are going to... Just because it would be so Dallas to do. Yeah. They're going to have some kind of stumble before the playoffs where everyone doubts them. And <laughs> that's, that's always the storyline, right? Yeah. Like, I guess except for 2016, that's yeah. typically been the way it, it's gone. So I, I think that it's a, a New York win. <sighs> yeah, I got a New York win too. I'm just being dramatic. Well, now, unanimous. Giants, nice. Giants close out the same with the W. They're going to be a solid team by this time. Hopefully mm-hmm. they got everybody going. Saquon Barkley, everybody. So Awesome. I, they'll win. All right, so, yeah, I have them 7-9, and nine, so but I pitch. think their win range could be up towards 10-6. Uh, and six. I think they can do 10-6. and six, Okay. You know, uh, like that. I think they could beat the Detroit Lions. I think yeah. they mm-hmm. could, uh, um, you know, beat the Washington. They could Y'all, y'all could sweep the Redskins. I, I, I don't Damn think right. it's going to happen. Damn right we can. But it's possible. Um, but, yeah, I can see you guys winning 10 games. That's that's my yeah. ceiling. That's your Cowboys. ceiling? That's yeah. my okay. ceiling. Oh, um, I got them ten six too. Mm-hmm. I think we both do. Yep. So uh, this is this, we got a tough schedule. Um, I think it, our ceiling may be only one more game. I can see it from maybe eleven. Yeah. But our, our we could be in, uh, about a nine and seven through eleven to five. I, I could actually see things falling off where the floor is seven and nine. I could see that. Okay. But then, like you, I think everything breaks right at eleven and five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, like I said, I was going back and forth between nine and seven, <laughs> ten and six, a lot there. <sighs> but we want your thoughts on yeah. what you guys think the Cowboys season down below, will be. guys. Let us know. Let us know, and uh, yeah, go ahead and hate me in the comments all you want. Uh, I had you guys. Oh, going we're, on we're gonna a hate losing you. streak. We're gonna hate you, all right. It's a tough schedule. Oh yeah, and we do have a brutal schedule this year. Even for being second in the division, we got a brutal schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that could be our undoing by itself. Yeah. And also. Go subscribe to Derek over at the Dallas Prospect. Do it. His information will be in the description box down below, guys. Go hit him up. As well as the link to the Dallas Prospect's Facebook page. Yes. Twitter yes, and Instagram. Social media. And hey, there's also just the website, thedallasprospect.com. There you go. There you go, guys. Your home for all things Dallas sports and pop culture.
<laughs> and pop culture. I love it. Yes. I love it. Derek, thank you so much yeah. for yeah. Uh, taking the time and being here on us blast. on this episode of yeah. the uh, Cowboys win loss season predictions. Absolutely. It was Thanks for having great. me. Great. Of course. Absolutely. All right, guys. We'll see you in the 2018 season.